Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video. After having created the last tutorial that was about how to create a kitchen with a custom script, I actually got a, a few of you guys message me about a different approach to this, namely a different script. This script is actually called Kitchen Cabinet Creator. You can get it over at here at alboroart.com. In the downloads section, you have uh, you can get this thing for free. Just a word of advice: if you're downloading it from here and you click these two links, for some reason they don't work. So just scroll down. You got two more links with the same exact thing, and these works. So there you go. I will leave a link down so you can actually get the script. So now let's see how the script actually works. Once you download the MSE file, all you have to do is just click on it and drag it into your viewport. This will activate the script. Now, once you activate the script, this is what you will get. Now, even though there is a lot of uh, different variables here, it's actually pretty simple. So in the general, first thing that you can do is you need to choose what do you want to create. You have two types. You have floor cabinets and then you have wall cabinets. And also you have the option to create two. So first of all, let's start with the floor cabinets. Right above it, if you have the floor cabinet selected, you have the floor units. Now here you can actually create six types of individual cabinets. Now I'm actually gonna go over uh, just one and tell you how or what you can do with it. First thing you can do is uh, control the actual size for the width, height, and depth. You have the thickness for the doors, the mask, which is the lower part, and the shelves. So just so we can see how this thing looks, I'm actually gonna also have to choose what sort of a front panel I want. I'm gonna click on open first, so I can either have a door or a drawer. I'm gonna click on open and click on create. As soon as I do this, right away, I get this thing. Now, this is the width of 80 centimeters, height of 82. The, the mask here, 10 centimeters, is the lower portion here. And in here, we got uh, this H here is basically controlling how my shelves are going to be. If I put it on V, that's going to make it vertical. So if I delete this and create again, now you can see that this thing has been made so it's with a vertical shelf. Now, I can put in a door. Now, also here, I can control how many doors I want. So I can go two, three, four, and even with four, it's going to look a bit weird, but why not? There we go, four. So we can control both of these as opening on the other sides, or we can just put it at two, delete again, and have it like this. Now, also what you can do is you can uh, Put it as a drawer and in this case the drawers will go horizontally so you just put it like this and again you can control how many drawers you want so that's about the cabinet now you want what you can do here is you can put in a different number of cabinets so all the way to six if you put it up to six it's going to give you a different amount and again you can see that you can control every single thing out of uh, uh, this cabinet. So let's go ahead and just simply make this thing a bit uh, different. Let's make this drawer, this open, drawer, door, and let's get them all to V and click on the create and this will create a entire kitchen base here that we can use. Now I'm going to delete this and with just the selected, I'm actually going to bring it down to three. That's fine. Now, another thing that I, you can do here is you can turn on the, this option here, worktop, and you can even control how thick the worktop is going to be. So if I go ahead and create uh, this thing, you can see now it has a worktop. But another interesting thing here is that you can delete this and then apply a sink. So you can either, either control or choose to use a square or a round sink, which is again, another interesting addition. So if you go ahead and create this, 
it will create a sync in here. But the interesting part here is also if I go ahead and delete, uh, well, let's just go and make this thing open so you can see how it works. I'm going to delete this and create. You're going to see that this sync, wherever it's put, if it's touching anything, it's basically booleaned out. So you're always going to have a nice geometry over there. And even when you see it up here, you can see that it's actually got out of the geometry. And also you can put on some handles. You can choose to have round or square handles to cre uh, create. And there you get everywhere that you have uh, opening drawer or an uh, opening shelf, you basically have this handle applied to it. Now, I'm going to change this thing up to the wall cabinets and the options that we get here are going to be a bit different. So I'm going to click and delete this. Now, what we have here is again, we can choose how many cabinets we want. Again, we have the ability to create up to six different ones. You have the width, depth and height, again, the thickness and the Z position. The Z position is basically how far off the ground this thing is going to be. And here's another thing that you can choose here is how many shelves you want and how many doors. And also, I'm just going to hit create by with a default so you can see how it looks like. So if I make this thing uh, visible, you can see in here that there is actually some uh, shelves inside, but we can't really see it. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to make the doors instead of being full doors get them to be glass doors. So if I create now, you can see that this thing looks much more interesting. So if we go ahead and now choose both, this will allow me to basically create whatever I want. How many cabinets? There we go. Oh, create all. And that will create anything that we have on the bottom and on the top. So very, very simple, very fast, and a very powerful workflow by just creating one element, it will create your entire kitchen. And another very interesting thing is, for example, if you're in a bit of a hurry and you want to randomize your kitchen, what you can always do is you just don't change anything in here. You go over here where it says random create, and by clicking that thing, this will create a random kitchen with random amount or random number of uh, doors, a random distribution of uh, glass, uh, of glass panels and everything. So all you have to do over here is you just get in uh, this option where it says number of random uh, caps, increase this thing to maybe like 10, we delete this, create or random create, and this will create an extremely, extremely long kitchen, and it's going to even have some sinks. There we go. But really does not look that realistic. So again, open it up, random create with four, will give us a very fast way to create our kitchens. So more or less, this would be it about the script. Again, very simple, but very powerful script that can save you a lot of time, especially if you have to model a lot of kitchens and you're wasting a lot of uh, your time on doing this repetitive work. So if you guys have any other scripts or pretty much anything else that you guys are using and it's making your life easier and making your job go faster, do drop me a, a message or tell me what it is. And if it's something interesting, I'll go ahead and make another video and cover that thing as well. So hope you guys had fun and you managed to learn something new here. If you enjoyed the video, then click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. If you'd like to support me and the channel, then the support links are below in the description of the video. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.